Well, boys, we got the next project. Apparently, this tire seized up. One of the tires is seized up. The brakes are seized up. That's the next project. I'm here with Luke, wherever Luke is. Luke's right there. Got the old three quarter ton, and this is the next project. So we just got it strapped down. We're just going to talk to the guy. Um, he's got a couple of more trings to it. Actually, pretty cool dude. So this is going to be the next full project, I guess. So, anyways, keep it prized, and I'll, I'll I'll finish. I'll do more of the video when we get home. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. Hey guys, so just got back to the shop with this. Did a little bit of a video there to start with. Uh, I don't remember where we were. Oh, I think we were in Red Deer, which is about an hour and a half from here, but we just, I just got back. I dropped Luke off at home. He lives about a, an hour or so north of where I do. We were going north, so. That's the old girl on the trailer. Fit on the trailer perfect. It's actually a little, it's actually lighter than I thought it would be, but. So, just give her a quick little walk around for you guys that are interested. It's a 1976 International Lodestar 1600. I wish it wasn't yellow, but beggars can't be choosers apparently. So it's yellow. But we are, I don't know. Well, I'll open up the hood and stuff later. Just it, it's a one, the one side's kind of a, a pain to open, but it's in pretty good shape. There's a little tiny bit of rust right here. Um, and then the running board, which I think is the stuff coming off the off the wheel. And then that support right there is rotten. But really the truck is in pretty, like it's in really good shape for what it is. You know, you're talking 73, so it's like 50 years old. It's, you know, it's in pretty decent shape. Really the only spot on the fender that I've seen or fender on the, the hood has one little crunch in it, but not in a horribly bad spot right there on that corner. And then it started to crack here, but that's really common just because this flaps, right? But something we can fix really easy and the grill is actually in decent shape. There's a couple little dents in it, but it is a 50 year old truck. So, but she is pre in pretty good shape for what it is. You don't usually see them in this good of shape. Like, like even the bottom of the doors, like it's in it's in good shape. I'm glad that I waited and bought this uh, versus some of the other ones that I've looked at. So the object of this truck is going to be, um, I basically want to make this into my new tow truck. So to start with, we're going to do it on a budget. I'm not sure exactly what the budget is going to be. It's going to either be 10,000 or 12 or 15,000. I got to sit down and figure out some numbers um, to see whether it's a doable because I have to also consideration consider a bunch of the stuff that I already have that I'm going to put into it for you guys. So that's something that I have to consider a bit. Uh, but it's going to be we're going to I think we're going to use the original frame. Um, I'm going to be changing the axles because I want to do uh, disc brake with big 10 bolts so we can put 22 fives and have the 22 fives cut for automotive tires and then i think to start with what it's going to get is a 12 valve nv 5600 and then i'm going to put a transfer case behind it for the only reason is the transmission that i have is out of a four-wheel drive truck not a two-wheel drive truck so like i don't know oh yeah what is the city truck because it says it says red deer right on the side so it was from red deer originally I don't know what it had for a box or anything on it, but so it'll be, I don't know if it's going to be air all the way around to start with, but eventually it will have air ride front and rear, the big axles. So I would like to see about using F650 axles out of like a, I think it's 2005 and newer. So it'd be big diffs, but I want to get ones that have the lower gear ratio or higher gear ratio, whichever way you want to look at it. I think there's a three, you can get a 390. So I'd like to get a 390, but I want juice brakes and I want disc brakes. So I don't know if I'll end up with those axles or something different, maybe something out of an international or a freight line or a little freight line or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there, but that's the idea for this. It's going to be probably a little bit shorter. I think I'll probably hack it off right here because I want to be able to drive this thing all the time. Basically it'll be a big pickup truck. Like if you take, so if you look at 
the trailer, how big it is on the trailer, right? And then you look at that, obviously, not in the same frame, but I bet you it's awful close to the same length. So I'd like to make it a little bit shorter, but it should be a cool project. It'll be slammed. Well, not slammed, slammed, but I'd like the, I think anyway, I would like this about, I'll get away a little bit, probably like maybe six inches. So this will be down here to give you an idea. Actually, I'll throw a picture of a couple that I've seen on the old interwebs and see what you guys think. But that's uh, they're gonna be, this is gonna be the next project. So when we get the shorty done, originally I was gonna tear this truck apart and build the other one of these that I have. But the problem is with it is that I can't pull uh, as much weight as I want. That's the problem. I want to, I need to be able to pull uh, I'd like to be able to pull a, a gooseneck or an enclosed uh, like race car trailer type of idea. But when you take that, you need a one ton and a newer one ton at that. And I don't really want to buy a new truck because I don't like new trucks. So is what it is. So that's why I'm going to buy this and probably spend just as much money as a new truck. But we'll see. To start with, um, like I said, I want to do it on a budget. It'll be, I think I'm leaning towards probably $15,000 including the price of the truck because the engine transmission transfer case, well, it doesn't need the transfer case, but I'll use in the transfer case, the front and the rear axle, the new rims and tires, um, a rad and intercooler. And I'm not going to really do much to the body. Um, this to start with, other than I don't really like the yellow, but it is yellow and I have a new inch, so inch is not good, but actually I think I'll Like, even the interior is pretty nice, really. Like, even the floor mats aren't in that bad of shape, really. So, that's what we got. And the, the guy that we bought it from, uh, Darren, awesome dude. He actually gave me a, the, the missing pieces over there. He's got a bunch of hot rods. He's got the older version of this, the 60s version of this, that he's kind of converted and done the same kind of idea. It's got a Detroit in it, though. Um, probably catch up with him. We'll catch up with him another time for sure. And I'll see if he'll let me do a video on his truck because it's a pretty cool little truck too. So, but anyways, that's all there is on this one. So, like I said, this is going to be, this is going to be the next project. So for you guys that are interested in the next project of building this with a 12 valve in it, um, as soon as we get the shorty done, we will be starting to work on this. So in the time it takes me to get the shorty done, I will be looking for axles for this, probably buying the rims and tires um, and getting the rad and the inner cooler, getting the stuff that I know I need uh, gathered up so that we can do this in short in a short fashion. Because I don't think that it'll take that long to build this truck, being that we're not, not going to the extent, the extent like I did on the short box. So this should be a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick build. But anyways, remember, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and it ain't rocket science.